Hi guys, welcome to another Wiretry Tech Preview. Today we're taking a look at an outdoor cabinet housing six in-cell SLB batteries. Looking at this cabinet, it's quite industrial and that big unit on the front of the unit is actually a large heat exchanger to keep the batteries at a nominal temperature um, in some of those outdoor extremes. So taking a look inside the cabinet here, you, here you can see we've, we've preloaded it with all of the in-cell batteries, connected up with the DC cables into tails on the side and the communications cables looping down all the way down to the solar inverter interface. So Turning on the batteries is as simple as closing all the circuit breakers on each individual battery. And then going up to the soft button on any of the batteries in the string, holding it down for 10 seconds to wake up the battery. And the rest of the batteries will light up and come online. Now in this cabinet you'll see at the bottom here we've got three large DC circuit breakers. These are 250 amp breakers um, designed to feed three Sunny Island inverters. Uh, for purposes of this exercise we'll just close this one which is connected to a small inverter on our wall. And then we can connect these batteries to the InCell Connect app to see what's going on inside them. Open up the InCell Connect app. Um, you can see here the Connect bridge has been found. Click on that. And pretty quickly it populates with all the six batteries in our string. And we can see there their state of charge, the current flowing in or out of them, and their temperature along with an average at the top. Looking at an individual battery here, um, we can see everything that's going on there. And then look at battery two. And then you can see uh, a sum of everything that's happening there through the BMS aggregate page. As you can see, the Intel Connect app has got a really fast resolution for reading from these batteries. Now, as you can see, on this side of the heat exchanger, we've got a little control panel here where we can set all our set points for the um, heat exchanger, heating and cooling along with um, 48 volt input um, for connecting straight off the batteries and if we want to have alarms coming off that we can do that as well. So that's what an in-cell battery looks like in an outdoor cabinet. As you can imagine the possibilities are fairly endless for significant size storage um, in a pretty small form factor. Um, look, If you want to stay up to date with what's going on at WatchEye please hit the subscribe button and if you want information on any more of the products we've talked about here, please contact your local YHI rep or get in touch through social media. Until next time.